The minor losses in pipe flow are a major part in calculating the flow, pressure or energy reduction in piping system. So there are certain components that help in increasing the fluid energy. But there are some components of the system that act against the fluid and reduce its energy, velocity and momentum. So friction and minor losses in pipes are major contributing factor. Minor losses in pipe are due to sudden expansion, due to sudden contraction, due to bending in pipe, due to pipe fitting, due to an obstruction in pipes, etc. So today we'll be doing an experiment on sudden contraction. This experimental unit is called SM150.11. This experimental unit allows to study the pressure losses in pipes, piping elements, and set of devices. So for today, we'll be doing an experiment of head loss due to sudden contraction. This device is called SM150, made by Gund, Germany. This base module provides the basic equipment for individual experiment, the supply of water in the closed circuit, the determination of volumetric flow rate, and the positioning of the experimental unit on the working surface of the base module and the collecting of dripping water. Now the pump is on and the water started flowing from the inlet to the outlet. So check all the bulb whether they are open or closed. So if we are doing experiment for sudden expansion, the bulb for sudden expansion should be open. Then the water went directly to the outflow. So since we are doing an experiment for sudden contraction, the pipe for manometer should be connected to the inlet and outlet of the sudden contraction of pipe. Now the inlet of sudden contraction is connected to the second pipe of manometer. As you can see it's connected to the manometer. And the first pipe of the manometer is connected to the outlet. So the pressure head for inlet and outlet is shown here. Also we can see that there's a reduction in the pressure of outlet and increase in the inlet which means that there is a reduction in pressure when the area is reduced which proves the Bernoulli's theorem for finding out the actual discharge we have to push this plug which help in collecting the water and we have to compare the amount of water collected with the time say we start from 5 and we we'll wait till 10 so that it will collect 5 liter of water so for 5 liter starting from 5 we got 13.7 second as we know the actual discharge is equal to volume by time so we got the volume as 5 liter and the time is 13.7 and easily we can find out the actual discharge for finding out the head loss for sudden contraction, we'll be using this formula. Here, ISD is the head loss due to sudden contraction. K is the constant. V2 is the velocity at the outlet. While during the experiment, we'll find out volume, we'll get time from the stopwatch, then we'll get a discharge, which is equal to volume by time, then we can get a velocity, then we can find out theoretical head loss, actual head loss and variance. 